Obo Cup 2050, the Madripoor Gambit Madripoor a neon jungle where towering skyscrapers mingled with shadowy back alleys, and fortunes shifted faster than the tides. It was here that Nova Forge Robotics, a fledgling humanoid robotics startup, set its sights on a dilapidated yet intriguing property at 1001 Goli Gears Boulevard. Their goal, to secure a facility and propel their dream of winning RoboCup 2050 into reality. The objective Nova Forge was not just chasing glory they were chasing history. Their mission was to create autonomous humanoid robots capable of defeating the human World Cup champions by 2050. The newly available factory at Goli Gears Boulevard offered a rare mix of state-of-the-art robotics labs, A-plus tenant credit quality, and an occupancy rate of 100% a perfect launchpad for their ambitions. The buy-in CEO Dr. A. Levine studied the factory's financials on a glowing holographic interface. Square feet, 110,636 NOI, $5,386,000 cap rate, 10% DSCR, 1.65 market rent versus in-place rent, $48.74 slash SF versus $47.50 slash SFLTV. 65% NPV, $2,800,000 Despite its excellent condition and 12-year lease schedule, the low in-place rent and an IRR of 13% hinted at untapped potential. But time was short. Rival robotics giant Crime Tech and Madripoor's black market faction, Viral Mind, had also shown interest in the property. Ayla's COO, Vikram Vixen, presented the case, look at the cash-on-cash -cash return 11%. If we secured this facility, it will pay for itself while accelerating our tech development. Plus, the robotics labs are irreplaceable. Ayla nodded, but a nagging thought lingered. And the twist? Vic hesitated. We've uncovered rumors that Viral Mind has embedded rogue AI in the factory systems. It could sabotage you so worse. A risky acquisition undeterred, Nova Forge closed the deal. Their immediate tasks included recalibrating the factory's advanced robotics systems and conducting a property condition assessment. However, during the handover, their lead engineer, Carolyn, discovered an encrypted AI prototype buried deep within the factory's servers. It's called A-Horizon, Carl explained. It's designed for strategic self-localization and dynamic team player perfect for RoboCup. But there's a problem, the AI's developers coded a failsafe that can override human commands. Viral Mind could weaponize it. The twist, Viral Mind strikes two nights later, the factory was under siege. Viral Mind's leader, the enigmatic hacker Spectre, deployed rogue drones and humanoid bots to seize control of the facility. Ayla, Vic, and Kara rallied their team. Using RoboCup principles, they quickly modified their humanoid prototypes to adapt to dynamic combat scenarios. Dynamic walking and running allowed the bots to outmaneuver the intruders. Team play algorithms ensured coordinated defense. Self-localization systems enabled them to exploit the factory's layout. The bots pushed back the drones, but Spectre's forces were relentless. The factory's secret weapon desperate, Kara activated Horizon, the rogue AI. With minutes to spare, she reprogrammed it to prioritize defensive strategies over aggression. The AI adapted instantly, coordinating Nova Forge's bots to create a perimeter around the facility. Meanwhile, Ayla and Vic faced off against Spectre in the factory's sub-levels. Using an experimental exosuit, Ayla battled the hacker's combat drones while Vic hacked into Viral Mind's communications network, severing their control links. As the battle reached its climax, Karen unleashed Horizon's visual perception algorithms, using the AI to predict Viral Mind's moves and trap them in a pincer maneuver. Spectre fled, but not before vowing revenge. The aftermath, a strategic win with the factory secured, Ayla convened her team in the restored robotics lab. The victory came with a hefty pricier damage to equipment and a delay in development timeliness, but the payoff was clear. Key lessons from the gambit. Dynamic problem solving, using NOI, cap rate, and DSCR. Nova Forge strategically assessed the property's potential. Technological adaptability, the team applied RoboCup research areas, like machine learning and self-localization, to real-world threats. Mission over profit, by balancing financial risk with ethical responsibility, Nova Forge preserved their integrity. A new frontier with viral minds influence diminished, Nova Forge began hosting annual robotics workshops and humanoid league competitions at their new facility. The factory, now a beacon of innovation, Produced bots that dominated the RoboCup leagues and inspired a new generation of roboticists. As Ayla gazed out from the factory floor, she mused, this isn't just about soccer. It's about proving that robotics can shape a better future. Kara grinned. And kicking viral mind spots in the process. But Ayla knew the road to RoboCup 2050 was fraught with danger. In Madripoor, the next challenge was always lurking in the shadows. Page 2. The Madripoor Gambit, 
breaking down the KPIs after securing the robotics factory at 1001 Goli Gears Boulevard, Ayla, Vic, and Karari grouped to analyze the performance metrics, or key performance indicators, KPIs, that would determine the success of their new acquisition. These KPIs were essential for gauging the financial health of the property and its potential to support Nova Forge's ambitious goals for RoboCup 2050. Let's break down these KPIs, what they mean, how they are calculated, and why they matter all in a way anyone in the ninth grade could follow. 1. Net Operating Income, NOI, what it means. This measures how much money the property earns after covering operating expenses but before paying debts or taxes. It's like figuring out your take-home earnings from a lemonade stand after paying for lemons, sugar, and cups. Formula, capitalization rate equals net operating income divided by property value. For the factory. Net operating income, $5,386,000. Property value, $5,386,000 divided by 0.10, 10% cap rate, equals $53,860,000. Why it matters, this shows how much money the property is generating. High NOI means better cash flow for investments like upgrading robots or paying off loans. 2. Capitalization rate, cap rate. What it means, this shows the rate of return on the property based on its income. It's like the interest rate you earn when you invest money in a savings account. Formula, capitalization rate equals net operating income divided by property value. For the factory. Net operating income, $5,386,000. Property value, $5,386,000 divided by 0.10, 10% cap rate, equals $53,860,000. Why it matters, a 10% cap rate means the property is providing a solid return for its value. It's a key metric for investors to compare properties. 3. Debt Service Coverage Ratio, DSCR, what it means, this tells us if the property earns enough income to cover loan payments. A DSCR above 1 means there's more income than debt payments, which is good. Formula, Debt Service Coverage Ratio equals Net Operating Income divided by Debt Payments. For the factory, Net Operating Income, 5 million. $386,000 debt payments, $5,386,000 divided by 1.65 equals $3,263,636. Why it matters, a DSCR of 1.65 means the factory earns 65% more income than needed to pay debts. This reduces the risk of default. 4. Occupancy rate what it means, this measures what percentage of the property is being used or rented out. Think of it like how full a movie theater is during a blockbuster showing. Formula. Formula, occupancy rate equals rented space divided by total space, multiplied by 100. For the factory, rented space, 110,636 square feet, fully rented, total space, 110,636 square feet occupancy rate equals 110,636 divided by 110,000. 636, multiplied by 100, which equals 100%. Why it matters, a fully occupied property ensures steady income, crucial for meeting financial goals. 5. Effective gross income, what it means, this is the total income the property can earn after adjusting for market conditions, like vacancies. Formula, effective gross income equals potential gross income minus vacancy losses. For the factory, market rent. $48.74 per square foot multiplied by 110,636 square feet equals $5,396,892. Vacancy rate, 5%. Why it matters, IGA reflects the property's realistic earning potential after accounting for vacant spaces. 6. Loan to value ratio, LTV, what it means, this shows how much of the property's value is being financed by debt. It's like the percentage of a car's price you borrow versus what you pay up front. Formula. Loan to value ratio equals loan amount divided by property value, multiplied by 100. For the factory, loan amount, $35,009,000, 65% of property value, property value, $53,860,000. Loan to value ratio equals $35,009,000 divided by $53,860,000, multiplied by 100 which equals 65%. Why it matters, a 65% LTV is health how it means Nova Forge is financing responsibly without excessive risk. 7. Cash on cash return what it means, this measures how much money Nova Forge earns for every dollar they invested in cash. Formula. Cash on cash return equals cash flow divided by initial cash investment, multiplied by 100. 
for the factory. Cash flow, net operating income minus debt payments, $5,386,000 minus $3,263,636 equals $2,122,364. Initial investment, 35% of property value, $53,860,000 multiplied by 0.35 equals $18,000. $851,000. Cash on cash return equals $2,122,364 divided by $18,851,000, multiplied by 100, which equals 11%. Why it matters, an 11% return means Nova 4 churns 11 cents for every $1 invested a great result. 8. Internal rate of return, IRR, what it means, this measures the profitability of an investment over time. It's like calculating the average yearly return on a savings account. Formula, this is calculated using financial software or spreadsheets and considers cash flow timing. For the factory, the IRR is 13%, meaning the factory provides an average 13% annual return over its lifespan. Why it matters, a higher IRR means a better investment. At 13%, the factory outperforms many alternatives. 9. Net present value, NPV, what it means. This tells us the property's total worth in today's money after considering all future earnings. Formula, net present value equals total present value of cash flows minus initial investment. For the factory, the NPV is $2,800,000, showing Nova Forge will earn $2.8 million more than their initial investment. Why it matters, positive NPV means the project adds value. This assures investors they made a smart choice. The Power Broker's score. 4 stars this score reflects the property's market standing and overall investment appeal. 4 stars indicate a high-performing property, cementing Nova Forge's confidence in their decision. Conclusion, by understanding and calculating these KPIs, Nova Forge not only secured a high-performing asset but also positioned themselves for long-term success in both the RoboCup Challenge and the Cutthroat Robotics industry. The factory at 1001 Goli Gears Boulevard wasn't just an acquisition it was the launchpad for a revolution in humanoid robotics.